The Tennessee Titans have officially made their round six selection, and it finally is a wide receiver. However, not one that I would have expected. Jaquan Jackson out of Tulane, you're headed to Nashville. We'll discuss what this means and what Jaquan Jackson is and why I may be a little bit upset about this pick all right here on Titans Today. I am your host, Jace Andrews. Let's get into the pick. Jaquan Jackson, 5'9", 188 pounds, the number 201 overall prospect. Once again, Ryan Cal excuse me, Brian, Brian Callahan and Rand Carthen, in my mind, reach once again at pick 182. It becomes less important as the rounds and picks go on and on and on. And it becomes more about your choice. But number 29 overall wide receiver. He's going to be the slot guy for the Tennessee Titans should he choose to play. Or excuse me, not choose to play, but should he be playing for the Tennessee Titans in 2024? That's really where he has been able to succeed. The one thing that I can reason with myself why they took Jaquan Jackson over guys like Brendan Rice and Malik Washington is because his return ability is actually really, really good and maybe better than Malik Washington or, of course, Brendan Rice. He has the speed and burst, which is exactly why I think he is a great choice for the Tennessee Titans in terms of the return game. I know he has been great with making plays downfield. However, if you've been watching this show for the past couple weeks, you know that that's not really the wide receiver I was looking for in this draft. I was looking for a bit more of a shifty guy because in my mind, you have Calvin Ridley, who was a deep threat. You have DeAndre Hopkins, who was a deep threat. Traylon Burks was supposed to be that shifty under route guy. It's not it. Maybe he could be this year. Maybe they trusted him more than I think, but I would want somebody like that, like a Troy Franklin, like a Malik Washington, like somewhat of a Brandon Rice. I think it would work out. I know Bryce had a lot of success going up and potentially being the deep threat as well, but still... In this situation, I just truly don't see the big appeal with Jaquan Jackson. He's extremely limited in production. I, I, he really struggles in 50-50 balls, and I, I think given that Will Levis is going to be in his second year here, you're trying to give him the best available, they may turn Jaquan Jackson into that under-shifty route type of guy. Playing in the slot, he could be a lot of different things. I'm wondering, though, if the draft pick here was more for return man, given that you have Tajay Spears, but with the new rule and the whole kickoff being different, maybe they want two return men. Maybe they want somebody different for the punt return and kick return. Well, guess what? I think this has the potential to be a return guy in day one with Jaquan Jackson. How do we feel about this pick? Do you like it? Let me type Y for yes. Do you not like it? Type in for no. I'm kind of in the middle because I understand the appeal of the return. But when there's guys like Brennan Rice and the potential of Malik Washington on the board and you go with Jaquan Jackson, I'm not too positive on it. Maybe I'm on my, on my lonesome here. And I know Brennan Rice has been talked about as maybe a little bit of a too high of a prospect because his name is obviously coming from his father. But I still do think that I would have rather have that than Jaquan Jackson just as a receiver. Return man, though, I could see Jaquan. So why for yes, I'd like to pick in for no. All right, so Jaquan will come into a wide receiver room that's filled with pretty heavy talent at the top at DeAndre Hopkins and Calvin Ridley. But past that, that's where I get confused on this pick because I truly do feel like wide receiver three was a necessity. I know if you've watched other Titans channels, I don't know if you've been on Titans Twitter, we all know that wide receiver was a need. It was, should not have been overlooked. And I think they kind of did. I think they kind of did here as it took to round six to pick a wide receiver and it's somebody that I could see maybe being a return man. But besides that, I don't think he cracks the top four here. I would take Traylon Burks, Nick westbrook Kenny, and even Kyle Phillips probably over him right away. Now, that's not to say he can't come in here and take it. And it's just kind of crazy. I mean, there's a couple guys. You got Brandon Rice. You have, of course, Johnny Wilson was on the board. I mean, I, it's just the questions just keep arising as to why they chose to take John, uh, Jaquan Jackson. I know maybe I'm being a little bit too hard. Maybe it's one of those situations where I just have to wait and see, but right now I'm not the highest on this pick because, again, I think it's just a little bit of a reach considering there were other guys that I personally valued higher on the board. I always value game time at number one on my board, though, because that's where I go for all my ticketing needs, ticketing events, everything. I got it covered with game time, so you can go check it out and get $20 off your first purchase by using code CHATSPORTS at the redeem code section. They've got you covered on pretty much everything, and 
They know that you shouldn't have to worry about buying those tickets, especially at the last minute. So game time is not only fast, it's easy. And like I said, they've got your tickets covered for sports, for music, for comedy, for theater, anything in your area. Game time has you covered with killer last minute deals, views from your seat, and their best price guarantee. Game time is going to make sure you are stocked and loaded for the NHL playoffs, for the NBA playoffs, everything they have you covered. So there's some amazing things in there. First of all, you can see your pictures of your seat before you even buy the tickets. They have last minute ticket deals like no other where you can get the tickets up to the start of the event and even an hour after it starts. And with stuff like flash deals and zone deals, you're always going to be sure that you get the best price. It's easy to find, easy to buy, and their app is user-friendly. They've got the NHL playoffs, of course, and the Predators taking on the Canucks. Go check it out. I promise you, you will not regret it. And it's not just sports. You're a guy who wants to go out there and find some amazing deals on concerts, theater events, comedy events, anything in your area. Guess what? We got you covered at game time. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app. Create an account and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms of live, again, create an account and redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S. $20 off your first purchase when using that code. Download game time today. Last minute tickets at the lowest price guarantee. Let's see what the Athletics' Dane Brugler had to say about this fix. And quote, Jackson is undersized and needs to stay off the injury report but he offers both long speed and short area quickness, along with the route instincts to create pockets of separation for his quarterback. He had to give him a grade of a fifth-round wide receiver. So maybe in terms of Tennessee, this is not a reach for them. Brugler saying fifth round, you get him in the sixth. Stats don't really show that positives, though, that I'm seeing. 439 yards in 2023. Now, granted, he played on two lanes, so lots of question marks when you're not playing for a Power 5 school. I know that, obviously, it's a big transition from the college level to the NFL level, but it's also a big transition in my mind from the, say, lower ranks of college football to the Power Five ranks. So I'm curious to see how that will go. Four touchdowns in 2023, not too shabby considering he only had 26 receptions. The average, really solid at 16.9. So whenever he was given the opportunity, he did seize it, but now it's going to be at the NFL level. So how will that work out? How will and he compare to the rest of the league? And Obviously facing some top-tier cornerbacks. Will he be able to adjust quickly and necessity? I don't know. I think he's probably going to be the back half of the wide receiver room. Probably return man is where we see him. So let's take a look at the Titans as a whole and where we stand right now because they only have two more picks left coming up here in the seventh round. They've gotten their offensive tackle. That was their first-round selection with J.C. Latham. Uh, defensive tackle-wise, I could definitely see being a very good fit with Devondre Sweat. Uh, linebacker, you have Cedric Gray. He could be an edge rusher. I know he didn't really play that in college, but I still could see him just being a blitzing linebacker for a lot of it. And so if he's on the field, he can play coverage. He can also blitz. That may be more of his role of that type of blitzing linebacker. Uh, transitioning to an edge rusher would be a little bit of a tough case just to do it in the NFL, especially since his size is not his strong suit. It's more of his quickness and ability to read the quarterback. So have to see how he'll do with that. And then, obviously, uh, Jaquan Johnson here in the sixth round at 182 is something you have as well. And then the cornerback, uh, Jarvis Brownlee Jr., is somebody that potentially could be making the roster as a backup cornerback, could be a third, fourth string guy, um, kind of just waiting to see how they all mold out. But who should the Titans draft next? Two more draft picks in the 2024 NFL Draft for your Tennessee Titans, Brian Callahan and Rand Carthen. What will they do? They've got pick 242 and 252, I believe. So pretty good picks later on in the seventh round. Have to see what they do. I wouldn't mind if there's a receiver available like a Brandon Rice still there. Go after him. We'll have to see if he's there, though. Uh, I kind of highly doubt it, but if he's there, maybe. But let me know in the comment section if there's somebody you would like to see the Titans draft in round seven. Appreciate you hanging out with us all day. I know it's a grind, and obviously we're uh, grinding just as much as you are getting all these videos out and if you're watching every one of them, man, you're a real one, and I do appreciate you because, man, I just want to make sure that we're having a good time while talking about the NFL, and hopefully we can bring that experience to your home. So hit that subscribe button, youtube.com slash titans today. If you're on your laptop, you can scroll down and hit that red subscribe button, or if you're on your phone, you can twist it from this way to this way, and boom, there'll be a red subscribe button. Tap that, 
You'll be locked in with us all season long because we got coverage 24-7, 365. No matter where I am, if there's breaking news, we got you covered. So do hit that subscribe button. And for now, Titans fans, tighten up and peace out.